Well, huge injury news from the Baltimore Ravens. Let's just get straight into it because we got a lot to go over. First, Marcus Williams. Uh, Marcus Williams tore his pec in the game yesterday. That was the fear that he tore his pec. The MRI confirmed that he tore his pec. But how long will he be out for? We don't know yet. Uh, Harbaugh did say today when he spoke to the media that Marcus Williams will be out for a while. Um, how long of a while? We don't know. Last time when Harbaugh said a while for, for Marcus Williams just last year, I think it ended up being like, Eight to ten games that he was out for I know he was out for a little minute But he did come back So that was nice last year uh, This year we'll see It's to be determined Because he has to determine If he's going to get the surgery or not Now I wonder if what's going through his mind If he's thinking Alright you know what I could rehab this thing And I can come back later on in the year And I'll be straight Or if he goes like sort of the Ronnie Stanley approach From was that last year or the year before With Ronnie Stanley he got hurt and he didn't want to have surgery. He tried to rehab it, tried to rehab it some more, and the rehab didn't work. So then he finally was like, you know what? All right, I'm going to do the surgery. So we'll, we'll see what happens with Marcus Williams. Uh, I don't know every single detail about it, but it's, again, like we always say, it's just a wait and see approach. Um, it's crazy because I was reading something yesterday, and I'm not sure if this was overblown or not. I'm not sure if it was exaggerated a bit or not. But it was saying that with Marcus Williams with the Saints, he only missed like five games in his four or five years that he had with the Saints and with the Ravens. Like he already missed, I think last year he missed like, what was it, eight to ten games, something like that. And now this year he's getting ready to miss a chunk of games. To, it's crazy. I, I do not know what it is with the Baltimore Ravens and these injuries because it seems like injuries with the Baltimore Ravens, they come all the time and, and they don't just happen because injuries going to happen in football. They happen. They are significant injuries on a an annual basis, man, and it's it's the craziest thing. I, I just I don't know, and I I know every, every team they got injuries, but it just seems like with the Baltimore Ravens, it's on a whole nother level. It's the the craziest thing. Anyway, continuing. I mean, speaking of Ronnie Stanley, uh, Ronnie Stanley, he has a knee injury, and he's week to week. Ooh. <laughs> Harbaugh Harbaugh's back with the week to week stuff, and we know like we're week to week. That can mean anything. I mean, it can mean week to week, but it, it covers a lot of ground. Because if you say somebody's week to week, I mean, hey, they could they could show up this week and be back. They could show up next week and be back, or it could be a couple of weeks, or it could be a lot of weeks. So, Ronnie Stanley's week to week with a knee injury. Um, so that's that. Uh, Harbaugh just say it's not likely that he's gonna be playing Sunday though. Uh, Linderbaum. Linder Flinder, he is going to be uh, out for a little bit, week to week as well, uh, but he also has an ankle injury. Uh, I know some, one of those, the Twitter doctor said it looked like a, a high ankle sprain, but we'll see. He has an ankle injury. Uh, he is week to week, and he will also likely not be available on Sunday. Nothing's confirmed yet. They're not ruled out yet. Friday would be the day where they get officially ruled out, um, but... Yeah, so Linderbaum is week to week as well. Of course, J.K. Dobbins, that was already confirmed that he is out for the year. Unfortunately, that sucks. And we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens with him. Um, I think Harbaugh talked, said that he talked to J.K. And J.K. said he's going to be back and better than ever. I don't know if he's going to be back with the Ravens. But, again, like we talked about yesterday, if he does end up coming back to the Ravens, they're going to be able to they, they will be able to sign him for super cheap because the leverage is all there for them. I mean, not even just for them, for any team in the NFL that signs J.K. Dobbins. He, he, he'll get another opportunity. He'll get another chance for sure. But it's obviously not going to be for big money. But anyway, moving on. Um, Bowser gave an update on Bowser. He said with Bowser, uh, he still has his knee injury. He's on IR, so he's out until at least week five so we'll see what happens with that now um let's get to the encouraging news because it wasn't all bad we, we, we got the bad news out the way so those guys marcus williams out for a while linda Baum and ronnie stanley they week to week and of course jk dobbins he's out for the season but the good news marlon humphrey harbaugh said that he actually got a chance to play this week now look now if, if you if, if if it's john harbaugh saying that somebody has a chance to play this week like he gave a definitive date he got a chance to play this week hope i don't just be throwing stuff out there like that anymore especially when it's about people coming back for people being out oh yeah he's oh, week to week oh what was it but for somebody coming back and him being specific oh yeah he, he's only specific if he's for sure about it so with marlon Humph hey Mar Hey, Marlo, if you want to come back this week, be my guest, my friend, because, 
Ooh. <laughs> just, like I know. Ronald Darby, he had his moments uh, against the Texans. He had some good moments against the Texans. Um, Darius Washington did too. Uh, Brandon Stevens, uh, he did as well. But like going from the Texans to the Bengals, and <laughs> what? What? Joe Burrow passed for what? Eighty-two yards, eighty-four yards, some some crazy low amount of yards uh, in yesterday's game. But going from the Texans to the Bengals wide receivers, I don't care what they did against the Browns. I ain't worried about that, man. They're going to be looking for blood, man. So, Ravens, cornerbacks, better be ready. So, Marlon Humphrey, you want to come back this week? Especially now that we ain't got Marcus Williams for a while. And, that, hey, Geno Stone could play now. I ain't sleeping on Geno Stone now. But it, it, it would, I would have much rather Geno Stone be a rotational piece because that would mean we had Marcus Williams and that would mean we had more depth. But Geno Stone is quality depth. Got Kyle Hamilton as well. And he was playing center field uh, in the game yesterday. So, that's a lot different from the role that he had Last year when they had him more around the line of, uh, Around the box and whatnot in the slot and whatnot um, So we'll see how it goes with that But Marlon Humphrey If he got a chance to play this week I ain't mad at that at all So if you want to come through Hump Come through man please And also somebody else who we were missing This past week Mark Andrews Mark Andrews with his quad injury He also has a chance to play On Sunday So more I I expected, like, I'm like, all right, Mark Andrews is out. Isaiah Likely, Charlie Cola, all right, do your thing. And I expected to see a little bit of Pat Ricard, maybe. But they were like, Pat Ricard, you ain't going out for no routes. Pat Ricard, you are going to stay back here because we need all the protection we possibly can get because it's rough. But I expected Isaiah Likely to do something. But we ain't, we heard, he got one catch. Um, I think he only had that one target, too. But we ain't hear his name called Harley at all. And, I mean, if it's only 22 passes, it's only so much to go around. But I didn't see him, like, hardly at all. Um, but, yeah, Mark, having Mark Andrews back will make the Ravens' offense that much better. Um, having him back will make them that much more dangerous. And having him back can also make them that less predictable, too. Because you saw how much they were involved in Zay Flowers. I said, okay, all right, Zay. Zay was getting all them Mark Andrews talking. Mark Andrews going to be back now. He's going to be like, Zay, look, chill out, man. But, yeah, hey, y'all better still feed Zay, too. Feed all them boys, man. But if Mark Andrews can play this week, that would be great because I feel like this is definitely going to be a week where we rely heavily on the offense. Um, I feel like this could be a shootout type of game uh, because, yeah, our offense, like, I mean, our defense is going against that those wide receivers, oof, that, that worries me. It, it really does. Um, I would love if they, like, do something crazy. Because we, I mean, we still got Roquan Smith. We still got Patrick Queen. They're going to make their plays and whatnot. But, yeah, man, we're we going to need something. So, Marlon Humphrey, you want to come through? Hey, no problem. Mark Andrews, you want to come through too? Hey, no problem. But we'll see. So, that's all. That's everybody. That's everybody. Um, just to give you all a quick little update on what we got going on. Uh, of course, our, our post-game thoughts, our recap of the game from yesterday that will be out tomorrow we'll drop that tomorrow um and of course subscribe to the other channel too this channel is engraven viz and on here we're going to be covering the ravens it's going to be like 100 percent ravens moving forward now but for all the nfl for the entire nfl for everything that's going on around the league in the nfl uh you can subscribe to the our new channel our other channel more engraving vids team keep it clean i appreciate y'all uh make sure you subscribe to both channels uh turn your notifications on for both channels so when we drop something you do not miss it i don't want y'all missing anything on either channel see now we can say that now yeah i don't want you missing nothing here and i don't want you missing nothing over there either i love y'all i appreciate y'all leave a like on the video if, if you like the, the the videos and stuff I, I appreciate that because it helps out the channel more than you realize it really does um Thank you. Thank you all for being great. Thank you all for a great week one. We had a lot of fun this week. Now we're in week two. Got some ugly injury updates, but hey, it's part of being a Ravens fan, man. So we all used to this. Team keep it clean like a lot of Ravens players are going to be. A lot of significant Ravens players are going to be this week. We out.